Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2022 Honda Pilot, we're going to be showing you how to install the eTrailer.com trailer hitch receiver. But before we do that, why don't we check it out and make sure that this is the right hitch for you. When it comes to the Honda Pilot, uh, really capable SUVs. You see people out on the road doing a ton of different things with them, whether it's uh, using a bike rack when they're on the way to the trails, um, having a cargo carrier back here, when you're on a road trip or even pulling a trailer around. So, you know, putting a hitch on the back of your pilot's really gonna help open up your opportunities on what you can actually do with your Honda. And so if it were me and I was thinking about putting a hitch on, I would probably think about two main things. You know, I'd want something that could handle just about anything you wanna throw at it. And this is gonna do just that. And I'd also think about the appearance. You know, how's a hitch gonna look on the back of the Honda? And with this one, um, I will say out of the lot of hitches that are available, this one's probably going to be my favorite in terms of how it's going to look. Right off the bat, I do want to address a couple of the main questions that we get asked quite a bit. And one of them is, um, you know, is the liftgate assist feature still going to work on your Honda with the hitch in place? And the answer is yes. So really the only thing you're going to have to do differently is kick your foot to either side of the hitch and everything will open up like it should. The other big question that a lot of people are wondering is, you know, are you still going to be able to put your spare tire back up into position once the hitch is on? And for the vast majority of people, the answer is yes. There is one exception, and this is really probably only going to affect a handful of you. And for those of you that have a full size spare tire, um, you know, you're not going to be able to put that back up. The hitch will interfere with it. But like I said, we've We've seen a lot of these pilots in over the years and yet to come across one that has a full size spare like that. So chances are really good. You'll, you'll be in good shape. Still probably worthwhile to take a quick peek underneath your car. You don't want to be the person to, uh, you know, be that one unlucky person, I guess you could say, and have it. So double check up under there as long as you have a, um, you know, what we think of as a donut or kind of your traditional spare tire, you'll be in pretty good shape and uh, it'll fit back up in place. With this being a class three hitch, it is gonna have that two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. And at the end, there's gonna be a reinforced collar for a little bit of extra strength. Uh, it is going to use that standard 5 8 pin and clip. Keep in mind though, a pin and clip doesn't come included with the hitch, but if you need one, not really a big deal. You can always grab it right here at E-Trailer. And it is going to have loop style safety chain openings. And these are gonna provide us with uh, more than enough space to use just about any size hook that our trailer might have. I do want to mention, if you are going to be pulling a trailer around, uh, you're going to want the lights to work on it. That way, everyone around you knows what's going on. It's going to be safe and legal. And to accomplish that, uh, you can always grab some trailer wiring. We do carry the four-way flat type connector as well as the seven-way round type connector. So regardless on um, what type of connector your trailer uses or has, uh, we're gonna have an option for you. Let's go ahead and just grab a couple of measurements. That way we can try to figure out which hitch mounted accessories are gonna work best. If you go from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening, that's gonna be about 15 inches. So if you plan on pulling a trailer around, chances are really good you can use a ball mount that has a straight shank. If you go from the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of our rear bumper, that's gonna be about five inches, and you can use that measurement to help figure out that if any folding accessories you might have can be stored in the upright position without hitting the back of your Honda. Just to kind of quickly compare this hitch to some of the other ones available, uh, to be honest, they're all really similar in terms of what you're gonna be able to do with them, how they're gonna work, what they can handle, um, and so on. Even the questions that, the big questions that we uh, answered earlier, um, those answers apply to the other hitches as well. So at the end of the day, it's really just gonna come down to your personal preference, I feel like, and what one you think looks the best uh, appearance-wise. Other than that though, I mean, you really can't go wrong with this setup, looks good, and it's gonna function uh, just as well. As far as the installation is concerned, really not a whole lot to it. It's definitely one of the easier hitches to put on. Uh, essentially, you're just going to lower your spare tire down, get it out of the way for a few minutes, uh, and more or less just lift the hitch up and bolt it right in. So it really shouldn't give you too many issues or take up a bunch of your time. 
With that said though, if you'd like to see how that's done, feel free to hang around. We'll go ahead, pull into the garage and put it on together now. To begin our installation, we're gonna be here at the back of our Honda. And the first thing we need to do is lower our spare tire. That way it'll give us a lot of extra room to work when we go to put our hitch up. So if you open this up, uh, we're gonna have a spare tire access uh, right there. And I'm actually using our factory tools. These are located right in there. So got them out and ready. But with this, you can take a screwdriver or something, pop that up, rubber cap, pop that up. And then we're able to get our tool on there and temporarily lower and remove our tire. Now underneath the vehicle, we can go over our attachment points and uh, anything we do from this point on, we're also gonna do to the other side because it'll be set up the exact same way. But if we look at the bottom of our frame rail, we're gonna have three factory weld nuts and those are what we're gonna use to bolt the hitch up. With that said though, I do suggest cleaning the threads out. So I sprayed some penetrating oil up there and I'm just gonna use a two brush to kind of clean out any uh, junk or dirt that may be inside. So before we put our hitch up, I just want to go over the hardware that we're going to be using. So you're going to have a bolt and a conical tooth washer. Make sure when you put the washer on to do it like this, that way the teeth will face up towards the hitch. And so when we're holding our hitch up, we're simply going to line the holes up in the hitch with our attachment points and then simply just thread the bolts right in. Now with the next set of hands, we can take our hitch and raise it into position. And we're gonna hold it up, line up our attachment points there. And what we wanna do is get at least one bolt started on each side, hand tight. That way the hitch will support itself while we work on the rest of the hardware. Now we can get the rest of our hardware in place. Uh, you want to make sure that the hitch is centered so you can see how the holes are oval shaped so you can slide it one way or the other. Ours is about right there in the middle, so we're in good shape. With that said, we'll get these going. And then we can come back with a 22 millimeter socket and snug everything down. At this point, we need to make sure to come back with a torque wrench and tighten all the hardware down to the amount specified in the instructions. If you don't have a torque wrench, you can always grab one here at E-Trailer, or a lot of times you go to your local auto parts store, they should have one there available that you can rent. So now what we can do is go ahead and get our spare tire back into position the opposite way that we removed it. And as you can see, our spare tire on our vehicle here goes right back up into place just like it should. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the eTrailer.com trailer hitch receiver on our 2022 Honda Pilot.